Да, слышно ли чего-нибудь? Да. Да, очень хорошо. Да, нет, как-то вы не синхронно у вас звук и изображение, но... Не знаю, сейчас. ничего не знаю. Ну, нет, сейчас вроде все. Значит, я попытаюсь сейчас произвести share screen. Только... Только мне надо... Я верну доску. Ну, вроде был достигнут настройка зума, в которой отсутствие в комнате хоста никак не мешает этому действию. Было достигнуто, да, нет. Я даже вчера пытался проверить, что это действует, и, соответственно, наверное, у вас короткая запись от этого осталась каких-нибудь. А более того, это, это само собой, но более того, мне даже письмо об этом пришло. О, то есть ва это самое. Нет, ваше это самое все действует. Я даже удивляюсь, но бывает. Больше как там... Большой брат пытается помогать мне быть средним братом. Поршен of screen. Вот oh. теперь должно быть поршен of screen. Видно поршен of screen? Да. Нельзя полностью гарантировать, что это нужный кусок экрана, но на нем, безусловно, хотя бы написано. Нет, нет, нет я, я вижу, я вижу что, что чему соответствует, да, так что. Там, кстати, ну, этот, может быть, вы ответите на открытый вопрос, как вы это обычно делаете. Что как вот, там осталась как бы небольшая часть, и даже Бауэнс считает, что он понимает, как это можно исправить, только объяснить. Ну, не то, что понимает, он в какой-то момент думал, что понимает, пытался мне объяснить. Но после этого не только я не понял, но даже он раз понял. Поэтому... Ну, может, нет, ну, может быть, для того, чтобы отвечать на этот вопрос, все-таки полезно сначала допросить Бауэнс? Нет, 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 я уж его раз спрашивал, да, нет, нет, но, нет, нет, но он сказал, ну, в общем, нет, ну, там есть несколько как бы, как бы конкретный комбинаторный такой вопрос, и, и, и надо как-то это, я даже могу сказать, в чем состоит его идея, но совершенно непонятно, как ее довести до конца, и... И что, что происходит? Ну, что он... Наверное, ну, наверное какой-нибудь комбинаторный объект существует с вероятностью один, но это же всегда так. Ну, нет, ну там либо, так сказать, ну, ли, либо Алиса выигрывает, либо Бог. Либо... Вернее, не считает, он считал так до тех пор, пока не стал объяснять мне, почему это верно. Большая ошибка. Пытаться вам более интересно. После этого Бармпалес тоже так считал, но он даже не потребовалось ему объяснить мне, он сам понял, что не так. Что? Но теперь ваша очередь. Есть такая книга про какой-то учебник физики. Там раздел про термодинамику. И раздел начинается так, что вот там основатель термодинамики Больцман покончил с собой в таком-то году. А там, там кто-то, что, который там тоже что-то это самое, начал ее изучать и тоже вскоре покончил с собой. И теперь наша очередь. Но <смех> книга эта вышла там, наверное, уже несколько десятков лет назад. И я как-то ради интереса даже посмотрел, автор до сих пор целый. Сейчас, сейчас, я, кстати, не все услышал. У меня как, я не знаю, это на моей стороне или на вашей стороне. А, не знаю. Большие достижения а вот, со связью. А как это проверить? Я... Можно спросить Алана, видимо. Но Алана мы не слышим. Ну, ну и нет, ну и вообще он, может, просто подключился, так включил они. А не... Возможно. Да. Но, но сейчас слышно? Раз, два, сейчас, три, да, четыре, да, да. пять, шесть, семь. Да нет, ну, в общем, там все, начинавшие изучать термодинамику, кончались с собой. И автор пишет, что теперь наша очередь. Вернее, даже не наша, а ваша, обращаясь к читателю. Нет, ну тогда поэтому казалось бы тот факт, что автор до сих пор жив не столь интересен, как вопрос. Ну да, нет, но автор тоже уже тоже. Он как-то пишет, что теперь мы это изучим. Но нет, так да. или иначе, значит, нет. Ну, в общем, теперь вы должны разобраться все-таки, там, кто выигрывает, и, и как-то этот вопрос закрыть, потому что обидно, что есть такой конкретный вопрос, и неизвестно. Ну, мало ли, мало ли конкретных вопросов. 
К тому же этот ваш конкретный вопрос, я не знаю, там его бы не одобрил уважаемый ультрафинетистский настроенный корифей. В том смысле, что это конкретный вопрос, он про конкретную бесконечную игру, не так ли? Нет, ну, ну не то, что бесконечную игру. Ну, так. Ну, Нет, конечно... ну а что? Сколько в ней позиций? Нет, но она, она открытая. То есть всегда ли можно обеспечить, всегда ли, так сказать, Алиса может продлить свои часы неограниченно долго? Это все-таки такие игры еще можно рассмотреть. Это ничего тут такого нету. Варели с их множеством или еще чего. Нет, ну как? Нет, я бы сказал так. Еще можно рассматривать, в смысле, что вопрос еще о чем-то, но там уже, уже говорить, что ну понятно же, что вопрос про конкретный а, ну, ответ. В смысле, что, конкретный что, ответ. Что, что, либо то, либо другое верно. Ну да, нет. Но это, а, это, нет, это, я нет. даже согласен с тем, что либо то, либо другое верно, но как там тебе они истинно для нас. Мало ли, кто же знает. Лоран собирался еще прийти. Может быть, всем остальным это уже надоело совсем. Но тогда я вам быстренько объясню, в чем стоит вопрос, а вы быстренько его решите. И на этом мы закроем заседание. Да, потому что в отсутствии Щегина нам с Лораном попытаться устраивать хайджекинг темы как-то даже не с руки. А мы, с, а мы с, Лара, с, с я не знаю, там, я все собираюсь поймать Ларана и поговорить с ним про ту статью Верещагина и Межерова, которую рассказывали на этом семинаре, потом Ларан рассказывал в Лабри. О. А, а вот есть больше три. Раз, два, три. Значит, давайте я пришлю еще ссылку на доску, чтобы граждане могли там очень да, Добрый писать. день. Добрый день. Вот сейчас я вам пришлю ссылку на доску в чате. Ну, Киса, давай. Вот еще есть товарищи. Так. А при этом, Миш, вам не, не требуется никого впускать, они сами все заходят. Да, абсолютно. Ну вы же посмотрите на список участников. Я же вообще даже это, я же даже не хост. А. То есть я могу там чего-то там, зачем... Но, но скажем, если придут враги и захотят нам помешать, то вы сможете с ними бороться. То, ну, тогда я могу перезайти как хост. А, а вот Лоран. Actually, it's better. Лоран also can declare himself host, if I remember things correctly, but this also requires login in via the Ubordo email. Oh. Which is probably not what Лоран does normally. Uh, it's the, the only thing that I can, I can do myself is uh, I can change my own name. <laughs> okay. uh, well, I mean, the issue is I think I can only make co-hosts from other to other people with specifically Ubordo address. It's a Ubordo instance share to random people from different CNRS places. Yeah, okay. So do, do everyone, does everyone see the, 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 the Zoom blackboard and so on? So I can send uh, uh, again the, oh, Laran writes right, he cannot activate the microphone. Actually, maybe it works now, does it? Ah, it works yes, now. it does. It does. Yeah, oh, you, you can also switch on your camera. So uh, I see where, whether you are unhappy or not. 
My house is not in a state that I, I, I feel comfortable sharing, so I'll keep the... Oh, God, look at my place. <laughs> uh, look, uh, look, uh, look, 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 uh, look. Laurent has already informed us uh, that the stated goal will not be achieved uh, because we already know he's unhappy. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay. So let, 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 let me start. So I'll try to repeat shortly what I tried to tell last time. And but but Bruno Bowens explained to me that I was very bad in explaining things, and it's much easier. You don't need any computations. You can do it more or less by by blah blah blah. And so let let me uh, remind you what is the craft chatting uh, as allocation service. So uh, there are requests. And requests are just uh, integers, L1. So first, first without barn palias, they are integers. And each request uh, should be uh, satisfied by allocating an uh, aligned um, binary interval. So the, the request of size L should be satisfied by providing aligned by an interval of size two to the minus L. And these binary intervals should be disjoint. And aligned binary interval is just this interval or, or that interval or, or, or this interval and so on. And uh, uh, the necessary and sufficient condition for the server to be able to, to fulfill all requests is just that the sum of all to my L minus Y is smaller than one. Of course, if you request more space that there exists in the, in the world, then you cannot be satisfied. And what is important that if, if you are not, uh, there is no additional problems created by correct alignment. So if mm, the requests are, are feasible in this sense, then you can satisfy uh, them. And there is a simple algorithm, we will need it. So I, I, I'll say again, so keep uh, free space as a list of intervals, disjoint intervals of different sizes. And uh, Initially, you have just one interval, big interval, free space. Uh, server just has one big interval. But then, then some space can be used, and the rest is, is, for example, if L1 is two, then some interval of size one half, one fourth is allocated. And there is a the rest of, of, of intervals of size one half and one four also. And uh, the, the goal is that you can always, uh, the simple, simple lemma is that you can always uh, this invariant. So this invariant is maintainable. So why? So imagine you have some uh, free list. It contains of different, different size intervals, maybe. And you get a new request. And uh, you can first there is large enough in, there is large enough interval because if all all new intervals are, are smaller all, all intervals sorry all free intervals are smaller than the request then because they are of different sizes they are just binary powers of two, of one and the sum is smaller than one so our request is greater uh, if, if the request is bigger than the all three intervals, it's also bigger than their sum. And then, then that means that this will. And uh, sorry, if, uh, yeah? I have a question. Yeah. Why uh, the length of the intervals are uh, two to the power minus L? No, why, why, why this, why the, the, the goal is like this. No, 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 not goal. Uh, you, you are proving that uh, the uh, invariant uh, can be maintained. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So invariant is that the free space is uh, a union, is split, is kept in this, in this union of this joint interval of different sizes. No, we haven't proved this yet. I just try to explain that if uh, there is no uh, big interval which is long enough, then this means that the, the request is too long. Okay. I don't understand. Okay. Just re repeat the question. I, I, maybe I'm, I'm answering the wrong one, definitely. Uh, your claim is if all uh, free intervals uh, are smaller than uh, the request, yeah. then the total uh, sum is greater than one. I don't understand why. Okay. So if all free intervals are smaller than the request and have different uh, sizes, by, yes, by but, but uh, one can have size one, one half and other three eighth or something like no, this. No, no, no. Aligned binary intervals are intervals of, of size two to the minus something. So aligned binary intervals either is just, just either the first half or the first half or the half of the first half or half of the second half and so on. Yes, but uh, suppose you, you yeah. uh, uh, show that uh, interval one fourth uh, is located as in the picture, but yeah. if the interval is one eighth. Yeah, if the interval is one eighth, the first one, for example, it can happen something like this. We can have interval of one eighth, and then the free space is kept into three pieces: one half, one fourth, and one eighth. Oh, three. I see. I see. So, uh, yeah, yeah. You uh, just use uh, several intervals, and it is possible at the first step, and then it is possible. Always. Okay. Yeah. So, if if all uh, all three intervals are small enough. Then this means that this total sum is small. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then it means that we run out of space already. It, it, it's clear. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, then the only thing is how we keep it. So we find. Yeah, that I, 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 uh, the, the, the keeping is rather simple. Simple. If we take the first intervals... interval which fits, and yeah, 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 so yeah. there are we can just find some part of it, and the rest we split into uh, halves. Uh, in, in, and since this is a minimal interval, these intervals of this size is, do, do not exist in the list. Yes, and so yes. they are just filled, fill some gap, but sure, the sure. gap is there. So I mean that we, we can use uh, several intervals, okay. Yeah, so this is, this is I don't know who Kraft uh, in, invented this algorithm or Chaitin or, or, or I don't know who, but this is very, very simple algorithm, which is known for, for, for all, all, it was no, known always somehow. And then uh, what, what this Barmpalias does, he tries to modify the statement of the lemma and modify the proof. And so let me say again, how the statement is modified. So the statement is, now the requests are not, uh, not linear, not, not independent. They form some kind of hierarchical tree. So I try to erase all the space. So it, first we can have requests. So uh, they are uh, uh, kind of first rank requests. We can imagine that they all are sons of some original request some fictional empty root, but just for, for, for uniformity. And they also have some uh, uh, sizes. And also uh, uh, we can have a, a requests which are subordinates to some of these requests. And so on. And there is a, the interval should follow the tree structure. So uh, uh, interval, for example, there should be interval somewhere of size two to the minus L3, L3, sorry. 
And then there, there should be smaller interval of size two to the minus L4, some other interval of size two to the minus L5. And in, 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 in this interval, the, this should be size of the minus L6. And here should be inside should be size of two to the minus L7 and so on. So it's like a big organization. There are departments and there are sub departments and, and sub sub departments and so on. And the request should be fulfilled hierarchically. So uh, the space for a sub department should be always inside the space for the department. And uh, so it somehow it makes things easier and, and more difficult. Easier because uh, you can use some space for several intervals. So, so the same space is allocated for, for L3 and for L4. Uh, so th this condition is no more necessary. Uh, we, we, it, it's possible sometimes to satisfy the request, even if it's not true. But on the other, uh, on the other hand, uh, this is more difficult because the intervals should be inside other intervals. So uh, this is an additional restriction. And the claim is that it, if it's, it's, it, it is no more necessary, but it's still sufficient, a hierarchical allocation, allocation, online allocation, is possible. So this is uh, uh, Barmpales and Louis Pilem. So is it clear what, what is meant by hierarchical location? I have a question, Sasha. Yeah. We receive uh, this request in any order. For example, we, we can first receive L5 and only then L3, right? No, 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 no. That's an important point. So this tree grows. Uh -huh. If we I... get a new request, no, mm -hmm. you cannot get a request from some guy and then only later know that this guy is a subordinate of some other people. Uh -huh. So you can just, if you have some one request, it's fully, fully clear what is the hierarchical structure below this request. So the, 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 the tree somehow grows, but it can grow at any time, at any places. Uh, there is no, no uh, order, but the tree grows somehow like from, from, from a root. So is, now, now uh, the statement should be clear. And if the statement is clear, soon, soon the proof will be also clear. But let, let's let's discuss the statement. So is it okay? I don't know. Misha, is, is it okay? Because you need to solve the problem in the end, so you need to understand the question. Why would I need to? <laughs> understand the question? No, it's easier to solve the problem if you know what is that. <laughs> but but it's not strictly necessary. Wait, so we can the later requests for a subordinate can be larger than for the parent. yeah 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 yeah. There there is some problem. Imagine we request we request something. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, I I just explained what the requests are, but I I didn't say really what is what does it possible mean. So there is a problem which Misha pointed out. So imagine that here is a three and here is two. So uh, in normal life, uh, we, 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 if we get this request not three, we allocate one eighth of, of the entire thing for, for, for L3. And then uh, it, it turns out that we have some, something, some bigger request, which is, uh, doesn't fit in this at all. So uh, this makes the, an entire statement in, 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 in naive form, it's stupid. It's not possible. So uh, you are right. We need to, to say, what does it mean? And uh, what, what does it mean? 
is that um, uh, uh, first we uh, we agree that allocated to L to L can be interval interval of size greater than two to the minus L. Uh, so we can allocate bigger intervals if needed. And second thing, uh, we can alloc uh, instead of allocating one interval um, for some request, we can allocate several intervals. So actually now uh, the allocated space is not one interval of size two to the minus L, but uh, some union of uh, several intervals, but each of them is of size two to the minus L or, or larger. This is our, uh, our uh, new setting. And uh, the requirement, uh, hierarchical requirement is that um, first at, at least one, one interval should be allocated and also space allocated to child should be a subset of space allocated to parent. Uh, if we allocate multiple intervals, what's against us just uh, doing the stupid stuff? What does mean stupid stuff? Well, you just allocate kind of the greedy in the greedy mode. No. You uh, okay. You you say so stupid stuff. It just you allocate some amount, some correct amount of things. What what prevents us from doing this? Uh, uh, the, the, we still require that the interval allocated to a request should be of fixed size, and we, we cannot. Uh, we cannot just allocate arbitrary space of this size. We need that if request is L, that it, each interval should be two to the minus L. There could be bigger interval, there could be several intervals, but you cannot use smaller intervals. And so, so you need uh, to satisfy this request, you need uh, 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 yes, entire interval. You cannot combine the space from smaller parts. Um. Yeah. I have another question. Uh, should these intervals be uh, aligned? Yeah, all the all each interval should be aligned. So we never use not aligned intervals. But of, of course, if we have several intervals, just in terms of binary tree, we, we should have some kind of, 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 of some set of vertices allocated to one request. But all of them should be below the level. If it's L, it should be below the level L. We cannot allocate small things to, 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 to this. Sasha, yeah. when, we, when we receive the request L3, for example, yeah. uh, should we allocate uh, the whole space we want to the... Uh, no, 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 no. We should allocate at least one interval. And then we can, uh, um, in the future, allocate another interval. And in, in the future, we can enlarge the space by adding some other intervals. But this interval should be also uh, uh, aligned. Big, big aligned, and it should be of big size. We can allocate small intervals. Ah. The, so all the intervals should be, should be greater than 2 to the minus L. So uh, let me repeat the, uh, the yeah. rule. So the space allocated to a client should consist of a lined interval, each of sides at least to the minus L, L, if yeah. L the request. And they can be allocated in any time. Yeah. Uh, when you receive the request, the request, you are allowed to allocate nothing uh, uh, at, at the start and only in the future to allocate. No, 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 no. If no. you receive a request, you should, no, it, it doesn't matter really. But if you receive a request, you allocate immediately at least one interval. At least one. And, and then, then you can allocate another one of the size to, to yeah, the Yeah, it's other. logical because imagine you allocate a request for some interval and then you get more, uh, a, lo a lot of different uh, children 
and they go run out of space allocated here, then of course you cannot uh, still have things here. You need to allocate to, to, to enlarge this and to, to, to the, the, the big division of the organization now moves and, and gets a new block when it can uh, allocate its subdivisions. Sasha, the rule that all the intervals allocated to a client should be at least to the one minus uh, L is yeah. not logical. Because if you enlarge the space because of the, sub, of the subordinates, why that space should be also at least to the minus L? Hey, why you cannot allow small intervals? Right. Yeah. And uh, how to say this? This, is, this will be necessary for the future. And because this is actually uh, the, the, what is this tree is in reality is a pre-images of some, uh, uh, of some uh, uh, we have some Oracle machine and we, uh, uh, these things are uh, intervals allocated to request is the um, places in the Oracle tree when we, uh, when we, the output is, 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 this, is this vertex. And so we want, we want the Oracle used to be small. And so this means that for, for, for knowing whether we get into this vertex or not, it's enough to know some finite level of, of, of Oracle tree. So we cannot let make small intervals because then um, the fact whether you are in, 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 in the space of, of, of the given vertex will require knowing a lot of bits in this, in this interval. Uh -huh. No, it, 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 it will be clear later, but it's now now it's now it's 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 just important thing. Okay. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Yeah. yeah. Images, but that means that uh, it's only the largest thing allocated should be as large as demanded. Because smaller things uh, you could also have additional smaller allocation. No, but then, then no, no, you can have additional smaller allocation, but then to compute the output. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> no, but th then uh, if, if you have a small interval and a big interval, and, and then you have some other request, which is a subset of a big interval, then you need some um, uh, Oracle, which goes through, uh, through, through both. No, somehow, Anyway, we want we want the oracle uh, oracle use be bounded uniformly, independently of where we are. So uh, we, we want that. The, the, uh, oh, okay, okay, but but no, that, that you can say it in different way. But if you you want an infinite oracle, it you, you need that all the, all the prefixes of it which are enough to compute something are large. Are, are, are short, so intervals are big somehow. Okay, may, maybe this is not clear, but then it, it, it will be more clear when we explain how we use this lemma. Okay, but are, now are the statement of the lemma, is it clear? It is. Okay, now how we prove this lemma? And last time it was kind of strange, complicated mm, mm, mm. computation. We make some sum of this or some of that. It's actually much simpler. So let me let me try to draw a picture. And it's it's very easy to understand. Uh, 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 you know, uh, like uh, mm, this this uh, market economy is a big tool. So here it helps also. So in this root there is a root allocator that doesn't care about uh, the requests of higher rank, of, of, of far away. It just get, uh, get allocates in uh, some space uh, uh, and just in, in, in normal craft changing way. So it has one unit of space in, in, in space. And it just allocates uh, uh, for for a fixed price. So you you anyone can come and pay two to the minus uh, s 
uh, uh, dollars, and then he gets or she gets an interval of size two to the minus s. And uh, the only way how the root allocator can fail is that uh, it runs out of space. So if total amount paid, uh, paid to him or to her is smaller than one, then there's no problem. The root allocator can do, the, do its job. And all the, all the children are in the root allocator doesn't want to deal with them. They should uh, get their space from the parent. Sasha, Sasha it's not clear. Yeah. It means one unit of space. Not just, we have this unit interval, which is made of... Uh, Ah, it allocates this interval. Yeah, yeah, it does what, exactly what we, it allocates parts of unit inter, aligned parts of unit intervals. But just what we add, it's is is kind of financial uh, financial relations. So uh, it's not uh, not allocate them for free, but ask for a payment, and the payment is just the length of the interval. Sasha, and uh, let let me say one thing. If if not that requirement about the size two to the minus L, I mean for all the intervals, yeah. then we, uh, we wouldn't even need this technique. We just couldn't use craft team, right? Just allocate everything greedily uh, to everybody. I mean, if if we receive the um, request two to the minus L I, we just take the first free interval. Uh, I, I mean, not the first, like you said before, and to it to that guy and also to all its predecessor, right? Yeah, so, so, yeah, 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 yeah. So we can do, uh, 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 so, so if, if not this request of, 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 of big intervals, we can just allocate all the intervals to the individual requests. And then if, if, if your son gets some interval, this will automatically add it to your space. And the, the yours also it is added to the space of your, your father and of your... Uh, so, but in this way, everything is, is, is automatically fulfilled. And the problem is only that there's some uh, um, rule, uh, requests of the first trunk get a very fragmented space. They get a space of... of, of their own space, and if somebody here gets his space, th then the space is added here and it's of small size, which is a very bad idea. Okay. So, 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 uh, okay, let, let, let me say what has happened next. But then, then this, this people who buy this part of the interval immediately start reselling these intervals the space to their children. And they use the same strategy. They keep uh, free space. They have in a uh, list of different sizes. Yeah, so strangely, the picture is now unsynchronized. Okay. Yeah. And uh, while so so each of them somehow has some some amount uh, gets um, each of them e e each request uh, comes with uh, each request of size two to the minus l comes with uh, um, this uh, corresponding amount of money. But then after it gets it, it, it gets its interval and then it starts reselling this interval to his children in a very natural way. Uh, and uh, so there are some, some special cases. If children, ask for, for two to the minus L or bigger interval.
then uh, just uh, buy a new interval and resell it. Sell it immediately. So if the child comes with a big, big request uh, of size which you are allowed to have, then you just make this request, transmit this request to the father, and then he gets, give you something, and then you give it to the child. So in this way, your, your capital doesn't change, your free space doesn't change, because you just act as an intermediate person without any changes. If children come with smaller request and uh, you can fulfill it using your 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 free space, then do it. So uh, you also keep your 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 free space. You keep keep as a set of intervals, and if you can use it of different sizes, and if the, the children are modest and require some small amount, and you have a free space of this amount of this size or bigger, then you just uh, sell sell what you have. Sa Sasha, it seems that now it's impossible because if you have two children and both of them ask two to the minus L. Ah, so you get it, but you resell it immediately. So it's not a free space for you. I yeah, yeah, yeah. If, 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 if you just act as intermediate, you can, okay, you can add it to your free space and then sell it immediately, uh, or you just can just sell directly. No, but what you say is, is, is important because imagine you have, uh, you have some, uh, Children now can come several because now every every vertex gets intervals, several intervals. Mm -hmm. So the same child can come again. And so every first, every such interval has its own free space. And so some somehow uh, I mean no 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 for every vertex you keep the the one list for free space. Yes. No. For every vertex you can one list for free space. But then children, uh, you can request several times something from your father. And children can request several, several times something from you. So what will happen? So what is the problem? Imagine that, for example, you, 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 have, you, you, you have, first your initial request is one four. Then uh, the child comes with the request one eight. Okay, then you 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 get your one four in, initially, and you sell this one eight to the child. And then another child comes and says, asks for one eight. You again resell the thing. But then uh, this child again asks for one eight, and your free space is empty. So you cannot cannot uh, do anything without getting a new space. So what you do, if you cannot do this, let me try to, if not, not enough free space, then you should buy a new one, new interval of size uh, two to the minus n. No, it, it's quite simple. If you 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 like like a, a local uh, uh, shop works, if you can satisfy the customer request from your own. Um, resources, then you do it. And if you cannot, you just buy a new new box of, of large size. And, and actually, we need this additional space if we have 
request uh, greater than the if the request is greater the than the, the, the all of our requests all of our yeah. free intervals and it's also gre greater than the sum of our free intervals then so we, we, we can request for uh, from uh, the father uh, a new interval of yeah, size because two to the minus we, we sold almost all we have and we don't have enough things this means that our money which we, we which we keep from selling this subspace and the new money just paid from the for the new requests is enough to buy a new big box of something No, so in like in a shop, you 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 have initial capital. You 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 buy you buy a big carton of of, of milk, and then mm. people come and buy some some parts of this box, and then at some point point they want more than the box is, than that that still remains in the box. This means that the money which you got from the customers is enough to to buy a new box of the same size. But it's not true uh, exactly because Why? we can have a small difference between the size of our box and the uh, space uh, provided to to the children. Yeah, and so and we have some, we, some we, we, we should require uh, the the size uh, the, the, the same size as the initial one. Of yeah. So, so because we have some, we we have some collect... overhead. Uh... No, 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 no. We already collected the money from the children. Uh, uh, please by... uh, skip uh, the money talk. Uh, I am completely lost in, in this financial mathematics. No, uh, but okay, but it's, it's kind of potential which is important. But we, we keep keep this information. So it's no, you cannot you can not call it money, but you need to, to count. Oh, this. So, so I don't understand anything. Sorry, uh, continue. Mm -hmm. For those who understand, you just continue. I don't understand. No, okay, so 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 so, so, so there is, but, but 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 no no, this is not a problem. Uh, you you can call it whatever whatever you want, but but it's kind of, of... it's a problem because I. I was sure that uh, all money talk is blah, 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 and completely uh, lost uh, all of them. No, it's, that, 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 that is not much, much said. So uh, uh, like, like in amortized analysis, uh, uh, every request uh, uh, ha has a potential somehow, which is, which is two, to the, two to the minus L, the size of request. And when uh, the interval is allocated, then the potential of this request uh, decreases by this size, and the potential of the father increases by, by, by that the, by that amount. So that's what I what I'm saying that we pay for this. We pay for the uh, the, the child pays for the for the space. I but, don't understand. Uh, please continue. I I, I, I completely. Uh, but but it's pity because it's, it's very simple argument. It's, it's, it's if, if you don't feel, uh, I'm argument. sure it, it's very simple. But you are explaining it in terms uh, completely uh, out of my uh, mind. Okay, but this is just standard amortized analysis things. But it's not you, you don't like the terminology, but okay, don't use the terminology. But it's not the. Not the problem. My question is not about terminology. Okay. Uh, I don't understand why you can uh, allocate new interval of size two to the minus L when you cannot uh, fulfill requests uh, from uh, children in uh, old space. Uh, be be because look, uh, yeah. in your example, yeah. Uh, your space is one fourth. Uh, the first children requires one eighth. Yeah. The second y eighteenth, and the third is also one eighth. Yeah. Okay. Let 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 let's look 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 at this. So initially, uh, our vertex has potential one fourth. Uh, has has space one fourth, and potential zero. Then uh, space is one eighth, 
and the potential is one eight because we, we make an allocation for a child of size one eight. Then we get a space one eighteenth and the potential is three eighteenth. Yeah? Why? No, because the 18th. We, three eighteen, sorry. One eight plus one sixteenth, yeah, yeah. not eighteen, sorry, sixteenth. So it's three sixteenths. And then what you say that now another uh, we, we request comes one, one eight requests. So the space is not enough. Yes. That is the problem. But at that time, the total potential after adding this one eight is uh, greater, uh, greater than one fourth. It's, it's just fifth, fifth sixteenth. And so we can uh, use uh, one fourth of the potential to buy a new interval of size, to get a new interval from, from, from the father of this size. Okay, if yeah, if forget about these funny financial terms, yeah, you just used uh, the previous simple algorithm uh, for allocating requests as uh, far as possible. Yeah. And uh, your remark is very simple. If you are unable to follow this simple algorithm, then the total number of requests greater than the initial size. No, it's not the total number of requests, so to total space. To total space, okay, sorry. Total no, space. and also also this will, uh, maybe even the second interval which you obtain becomes not enough. No, uh, okay. yeah. It, yeah it, it, what, what you say is completely correct in, in the following sense. So there is an algorithm and the algorithm doesn't depend on any calculation about potentials or money. The algorithm is simple. If you get a request which you, you can fulfill, you do it. If you get a large request, you just transfer, transfer it to the father. And if you get a small request, but you don't have space for this request, you order a new piece of, of your original size. This is the algorithm. This is the algorithm, plain and simple. But uh, my remark is potential uh, is not, I don't understand why it's important because, uh, you, because. Just, uh, you, you just saying about the total space uh, required from uh, this uh, box. From, yeah, from, from so I, I, I want to say that, the, of, of course, what is the problem in this algorithm? That the root allocator can get too much, too many requests. And yes. this is the problem. And, and of course, uh, sometimes, what, why, it, why it's possible? Because uh, when a small request uh, going down in the chain of request, in, in, in the chain of responsibility, actually increases. So uh, uh, we, we are asked for something small, but we don't have a small amount interval. And then we need a bigger interval from the father. So we actually request more, somehow more than we uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Just what is asked. But then we need to, to show that this is somehow compensated by the fact that we reuse the space for, for both the child and the parent. And to show that it it's works, uh, we define a potential for each vertex. A potential for each vertex is just the, mm, mm, it, 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 it's uh, initially the vertex get, get uh, to, to request get to the minus L of potential. And then this, it can be only transferred to down. And so in total, uh, we never, we never get more than. Sasha, in your example, potential uh, was increased. Uh, 
this uh yeah <laughs> okay if, if, if you, <laughs> you should trans- decide what, what, what you name by potential no 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 if if, if a, a child gets part of the father's space then the potential of of of, of the child decreases and the potential of the father increases. Potential is just as a sum of uh, intervals uh, allocated on this uh, interval. It, it's no potential is a difference. What we allocated from our father, and what we have uh, uh, given to our children. Okay, I, I don't understand again. Misha, it, it Misha, it, it's not Misha. Important. Misha, your hate of financial things. No, no, I hate uh, uh, vague and uh, ambiguous uh, arguments. I, I think and that's, it, it seems that's... that this talk about potential makes things uh, ambiguous. Uh, maybe, but it's very simple. If if you just make one effort. A small effort uh, and try to understand what Sasha is saying. Then he uh, told about money that would be very simple. At the very beginning, each node has a capital which is equal to uh, two to the minus L for that node, right? Each request, yeah, yeah, yeah. Each node each, has a capital. A, a capital. Then at each moment of the game, that capital is divided in two parts the cost of free space it has and the remaining money the monetary so, capital is somehow divided in, into in, in, in two parts so money uh, and think, space so cash cash and uh, space uh, and space <laughs> cash and space uh, and if your child requires uh, a, an interval from you you just shift this division you your money is in if you have this interval and you, you if you, you have this interval if so these can... explanations clear for uh, all uh, for, for the rest of uh, participants i'm happy i don't understand them it seems that the, the, the fact is rather simple and the proof can be explained in simple words and actually if cross out uh, words about potential and money sasha explain it no this this is a kind of this is a standard way to explain the amortized algorithm bound. So we need to keep potentials. So to, to, to check that something doesn't inductively check that something doesn't exceed one. This is just the, 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 the way to, to say that we use some kind of induction. We, we, we follow the, the path of money, but no, it, it was just, I, I tried to explain without the money and uh, this, uh, but just this remark of Bruno Bowens was that's much easier to explain with. Okay, okay. If it's uh, clear for others, uh, I'm happy. Continue, please. No, there's not much to continue. So if if so if the all the all the all only money injected in the system is just the, the, the initial costs, so it's most one, and the system doesn't create new money. So all the requests to the root cannot exceed one because by, by, by construction, they should be paid in cash and we don't have enough cash in the system at all. So this, this is a simple argument. Okay, but, 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 but okay, let, 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 let me say something about amortized analysis. Imagine we have a, a binary number, binary counter, zero, one, 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 zero, and we, 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 one, one, and so on. And we make it using a Turing machine or something. And so to count uh, up to N, we need uh, uh, O of N operations. And you can explain in different ways. You can say that the long operations when you, when you need to, 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 uh, uh, long carry uh, are rare. This is one way to explain why it's often. And then another way, which is often used in the programming textbooks, is if you change zero to one, then you uh, pay actually two thing, two, two units. First, for, for the fact of changing, and one is a special reserve. 
and then uh, change, you have several ones and they all transform to zero and, and this requires some efforts, then this mm, efforts are paid not for the current current amount of current. Sasha, uh, as I see, you are explaining some uh, simple things about amortized analysis. All yeah. uh, participants, except maybe me, uh, know them, so you can skip them. But why don't you? Want I, to I don't look? understand your explanations uh, in this uh, form. Even, because even for I, I, I need to read the text to understand something new to me. Okay, even for the amortized analysis, you don't, don't believe my, my explanation. It's, it's perfectly <laughs> simple. Sasha, I, I, I don't understand your explanation. Please. Independently of what I'm saying. Okay, Sasha. Yeah. Yeah, right. Independently, yeah, but, yeah. but uh, in this form, you, you, you just say you, you buy, you, you sell, and I completely lost what okay. are you saying. Okay, Kolya, do you understand the explana amortized explanation with binary counter? Uh, yes, but I, I don't <laughs> think you need binary counter to to explain this because this is not uh, much harder than binary counter. Okay, but, uh, but exp I, please explain it to me. Show with binary counter. I think you will. So for will binary help. count, you need to show that if you increase increment the binary counter n times, then you flip the bits of the counter at most two times n times. And that's because uh, uh, you make two changes. Either you flip from one to zero or to zero to one. And each time you flip a bit from zero to one, you may imagine that you pay $2 and not $1. So you make, so to say, two changes. One is fictional and one is real. And the fictional uh, change is used when uh, this bit again is flipped from one to zero. And so uh, uh, each, uh, each increment costs uh, to you only uh, $2, so to say, because if you increment, you uh, flip many bits from zero to one, but it's for free because you have already paid for that in advance. And only one bit is changed from zero to one. So, sorry, I, I confused. Uh, you change several bits from- uh, Before this explanation, two. I need uh, to understand the claim. I don't understand the claim. So the claim, the claim, assume that you have a binary counter. And the initial- What is, is binary counter? Yes, counter. Zero, zero, a sequence of zeros. A sequence okay. of zeros. Then you increment, start to increment it at one, then again at one. So you get next time you get this. Uh, next time you, you get you this. Do, you, you do is you do this n times in this. Uh, so uh, finally you obtain. So each time, time you increment by one. Yeah. Yes. Each time yes. you increment by one. So okay. each time, how to increment the counter by one? You change. Okay. The, but the, what is the claim? The claim the is claim. let's see what the bits are changed here. Uh, and and so how, 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 how many changes of bit you need to increment the change. counter n times. The claim is that you need to change you need to change to uh, the number of changes is two two times n. Not n, most. but two times n. So two for example, n. here you changed one bit, here you change two bit, here you change one bit, here you change three bits. So in total you get one. Two, one, three, which is uh, 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 what? Three, six, seven. So you still uh, why no? Something is wrong here. <laughs> why it's uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And okay, you change four times. And uh, the number of changes. Ah, yeah, yeah. You, I change four times. One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah. For zero to three, there are four steps. So it's smaller than two n. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. I was. Okay. So is the statement clear now? Statement is clear. Okay. Do you no, see no. the proof with with this with with this costs or not? 
Maybe you already see the proof. If not, sure, quite already... sure, sure. And what is this proof? With the look, look at your changes. Yeah. Uh, each uh, change, uh, uh, they are either zero to one. Yeah. In some volume. Please. Or, or some uh, changes. Uh, uh, one to zero. One to zero. And actually, actually, uh, these changes uh, are encountered in uh, long chains of these changes are encountered very rarely because to change uh, three uh, ones, you uh, it can be count encountered one if uh, points of time. So you, you just need to sum geometric progression and you obtain no, this so this is one this plus. Is yeah, Some this is this is another explanation, not the explanation with costs. Quite, cool, just tell the explanation with costs. So the explanation, the explanation is... of costs uh, are needed to enjoy you in some funny story about money selling. No, 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 no. Quite, you don't understand the, the things. Uh... Misha, no, Misha, Quite Misha. doesn't need to say anything about money. You, you Misha, seem crazy Misha, about money, but don't, don't it's say not, this. Part. It's not the case. It simplifies things. I mean, the explanation with amortized analysis. So but just repeat it. Uh, so I repeat the explanation. You have two type of changes from one to zero and from zero to one. Assume that uh, when you change from uh, one to zero, you pay actually. Uh, don't, don't say this word. We just count the changes from one to zero with factor two. Yeah, let's count with factor two. And we don't count don't ch the, 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 the changes to z from. Z z z uh, from, from one to zero or three. So I'm trying three, to zero. repeat my geometric progression argument in, in a very sophisticated way to me. I don't okay, understand. Still, what let's the, finish uh, the sophisticated way. Yes. Still, let's finish the sophisticated way. We count we count the switch from zero to one twice, but we don't count the switch from one to zero. So, so and the number of switches, uh, I mean, we count now is at least the number of actual switches our new way of counting gives yeah. a bigger result bigger result. because everything and so we count some switches from zero to one and some switches from one to zero but uh if we count ever ever switches from zero to one twice then we cover also the the the, 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 the next switch of one to zero but at least it's counted already for I don't hear you. But but it, it, not understand now, but just hear. Yeah. Okay. So we, we there are two ways of counting. First ways is we counting all switches from zero to one and from one to zero. Just and second way is we count zero of zero to one with coefficients two and one to zero with coefficient zero. So we just take twice the number of changes from zero to one. Zero to one, you, you don't I count it count. twice. When, when a bit is changed from zero to one, so this is counted twice. This is not counted, this is counted twice. This is counted twice. And this is counted twice. Okay. And the claim is, that you give, now give a bigger result than before when you counted all things with coefficient one. Why? Because look at every bit. It goes from zero to one to zero to one to zero to one and so on. And you before you counted all, all the transitions, and now you count the transitions only from zero to one, but tw twice. Mm -hmm. So if you return to zero, then you just exactly the same number of, of things B back and forth. So you just count it fully. But if you, if you end at one, 
then uh, you just counted, for example, you have six instead of actual five changes. Mm -hmm. oh, you, you will hate me, but I will tell a story that in Boston, there was a tram line, uh, not li the, 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 the green one. And in one direction, it was free because it was somehow, it goes out of the metro and then you cannot take money from. In one direction, it was completely free. And to compensate it, uh, in the other direction, it was twice more expensive. And the idea is that you pay the same amount, but just going in the other direction. Sorry, I, I don't understand. Uh, uh, twice more expensive than what? Uh, no, no. Nor normal line costs $1. Ah, uh, twice more, more expensive than a normal line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, okay. but uh, uh, you can go in one direction for free on that line. And in the other direction, you have to pay $2 for, for ticket. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I get it. Just uh, it, it, it looks like you compare zero and uh, something, and the difference was a factor of two. So it was no, 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 no. So, so just, but if, if you, if, of course, you can make a, if you start with big, you can go in an expensive direction first. So uh, uh, then you pay, pay at, at least that many. And so this is the argument uh, with, with amortized analysis. Because in each transition, only one thing changed from zero to one. So in our new uh, way of counting, each transition makes plus two to our, adds plus two to our counter. Okay. I is can it, it, uh, restate that... your argument about any money, any potential, any this stuff. Okay, but, but this, this argument about counting is clear. About counting is clear because you say a very simple thing. In each column of your table, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you have uh, the number of changes from zero to one yeah, is yeah, at yeah, least yeah, yeah, one yeah, yeah, yeah. half of, of the total yeah. number of changes. Yeah. And uh, it's very simple claim, uh, much simpler than any financial stuff. No, let, let, let me still explain how, how, how people explain in a textbook of, for example, in Corman. But just, I, I, this is kind of Sasha, language which is quite easy to understand. I am very happy that, that I don't need to read Corman. Very happy. No, you don't need, but Virishayin, who taught algorithm course, needs to learn this, <laughs> this technique. So you cannot completely avoid this. Uh, but it's strange. It's, it's a very simple kind of argument. It's strange, but... The, yes, the argument is simple. The explanation of the argument is no, very no, complicated. Let, let me say the explanation. The explanation is like this. So when, when, uh, when you change zero to one, you pay $2. The first uh, uh, dollar is paid for the actual change, and the second dollar is reserved for the future change of one to zero. Sasha, uh, you, you uh, have said this one. My explanation is much simpler. If you are, uh, count the number of times you are crossing out your outer door, uh, then the number yeah. of um, crossing out is at least yeah. one half the number of crossing the total crossing without any money. Okay. It, it, it just does speak about uh, changes zero to one and one to zero. No, but I don't know. If, 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 no, if, if I try to explain you some induction argument, I start with simple example when it's, it, it's easy to, 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 to rephrase. I understand and more complicated uh, cases. It's you, you, you need potentials, you, you, you need ma ma many machinery. So the potential is just the number of ones. In, and you can say that the, 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 the number of ones plus the, the number of, uh, uh, so, so, so this, this, this one, each one keeps one dollar for, which is prepaid for future, future changing to zero. So it will Sasha, not. I don't know about much about dollars, but now we are spending time of all other participants. All this stuff are clear for, for all except me. No, but I think that for, for all your students in HSC, it will be very, very beneficial if you understand this simple kind of argument. So when they pass the exam, they But uh, here, when... uh, the, the question is about other people. Okay, okay. So no, Sasha, no. proceed. 
with the explanation. Forget about okay, the hate of money. Okay, it's strange, but still, 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 it's, it's very nice argument. But then, uh, then somehow we, we the, the proof of, of of the slam is finished, and it's it's the only thing is to to say is how it's used. So uh, let me. Mm. Uh, first is just hierarchical coding and the second is kuchera gach theorem and uh, uh, hierarchical coding is uh, the following theorem Imagine we have a computable function. K of X is a computable function on strings. On strings. Such that the sum of K total computable function and the sum of two to the K minus K of X is less than one. So actually it's a bound for prefix complexity. But it's not important to, 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 to know what is this. So imagine we have a, 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 some function of this type, k of x, is defined for every string x. We have some computable function. Uh, sorry, prefix complexity is computable function. No, no, prefix complexity is not computable, but a computable upper bounds for prefix complexity are exactly the function with this property. So this function are, are an equivalent way to say the assumption is that K is a computable upper bound for prefix complexity. But you, you don't need to care about this if, 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 if it's just... Just now, continue, I, I'm totally lost. I don't no, no, understand. No, no, this, so, this, so, this condition uh, is true or not? It's uh, clear or not? Not clear because you, I, I, I'm asking, is it computable? You, you say no, no. but uh, no, you no. wrote. Okay, let's, let's, okay. That's a, I, I think that's a better idea. Let's denote it by k prime. So we have a computable function k prime on strings, which satisfies this property. Any computable function on strings, which satisfies this property. Okay. Then we construct an oracle machine, which is kind of a good coding. So oracle machine gets some tape with an oracle and produces some outputs. Oracle produces some finite output and stops. And then the claim is that there exists an Oracle machine such that every X uh, has an Oracle that uh, gives X if used with this machine uh, uh, with only K of X bits used. K, K prime, of course. K, K prime, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we want to somehow to invent, so this is a goal for compression. We, 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 we know in advance how much should we compress each string. But then this compression should be somehow uh, uh, by, by oracles. So you, you cannot have, uh, so you, you have uh, several strings here and one of them is the prefix of the other. And this, this output machine produced just the bits, bits on the output tape. And the machine should, uh, 
uh, stop with 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 with, with uh, not 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 so sorry sorry the, 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 it's not 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 what I'm saying is not right. The, the machine produces some some output bits just sequentially. Sorry, 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 sorry. So the Oracle machine gets Oracle and produces output bits one by one. And then the question is that you should get be able to, to get X on the output while using only uh, K of X bits on the input with some Oracle. Oracle is also, also sequential, so you, you just Oracles? ask the, the next bit. Yeah, we can just ask the next bit. So Oracle tape, we can just, we read this from left to right, and we can ask the next bit. Okay. And so if you have an infinite sequence here, you can uh, also, uh, it, it, it's, 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 it's also a, a, another important thing, it's, it's additional requirement. If you have an infinite sequence here, then you can find an infinite sequence here, which produces this and uses only K of, K of so it produces X by using K of X bits, it produces Y using at most K of Y bits and so on. So the idea is that you get some kind of uh, a monotone coding. So usually you, 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 you have codes and you have strings and strings are, are uh, is, codes are just parts of some big tree, but strings are independent. And uh, the code for X and, and for extension of X can be completely different. And now you want for the code for the extension of what X be the extension of the code of X. So for infinite sequence, you get an infinite oracle, which uh, codes it in a monotone way. And also uh, it's, you, the oracle use is bounded by, by this function k prime. Sorry, what is uh, the uh, conditions and what is the claim? The conditions so, is like this. So or, I shall or, write the theorem because you didn't write it. And okay. It's and, uh, so this is the condition. And in bottom right corner is the claim. Okay. Let, 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 so I, 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 I start in the wrong way. So let, let's, let's, let's make it clear. So the condition assumes that this is a function. Yes, okay. Claim there is an Oracle machine, Oracle machine with sequential input and output. So it reads uh, bits on the tape and produce output bits. M. And with the following property, uh, for every every sequence alpha, a bit infinite bit sequence, there exists some infinite bit sequence beta mm -hmm. that uh, uh, computes alpha. So this machine using beta computes alpha. And to compute some prefix fix uh, x of alpha only uh, k prime of x bits of uh, so it's it, this is beta a, a, and only k prime bits of beta are used. But you mean for infinitely many prefixes or for all? For all. For all prefixes. 
to compute not some prefix, but yeah, uh, to compute a prefix to, okay. for, for all prefixes. In, in, for, for, let's to, to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, to compute uh, every prefix. Every, Alpha yeah, only yeah. k prime of x. I, so, sorry, this is my, my English problem. I would say any, but uh, I once Paul Vitani told me that the non-native speaker should never say any because they use it always incorrectly. So I am now afraid of this. But yeah, I, I agree. Um, uh, also, I'm confused if people yeah. say any. Um, but you, in, the, uh, in, in the email, you said it was open problem. So you need order log of length of x. After no, the prime. open problem, if, if k prime is not computable, but upper semi-computable. Ah, OK, yeah. This is the problem. But but for for the uh, for the um, computable functions, not a problem. And you explained this theorem last time. Um, I tried to no okay. I tried to no. I I thought that the explanation, the idea suggested by Bruno, uh, how to explain the, the the lemma would simplify the proof. But now it seems that it's only made the proof more uh, uh, unacceptable. Uh, so, uh, and I, no, I tried to explain the theorem. Short. Sasha, anyway, you explained two proofs. One was uh, in the last class, and that proof didn't use any potential. Yeah. And now you have explained the second one. I so don't know should be satisfied. Actually, the same proof, but with. But uh, for, for this theorem, we need just lemma, not the proof of the lemma. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, we need the lemma, not the proof of the lemma. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, this the, the lemma is just these the things are are uh, are requests actually. This right tree is a tree of requests, and the requests are just this this uh, 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 of size k. If a vertex is x, the request is k of x. So uh, by satisfying the request, we get some subset of intervals, uh, some space which is a union of intervals of size at least two to the minus k of x. And the oracle uh, oracle is just, um, if the oracle is in this, in this part, then the output thing, thing is x. And because uh, for, for the children, this is a subspace, then we can, Then, then everything is correct. First, we compute x on the in, on the out, out, output, and then if we get some new thing, it will be an extension of of the old one. So we can just add the necessary bit on the output. So th this is the this is the proof of of, of the de derivation of the theorem from the lemma. No, the, 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 there is actually some some tricky point which I miss here. Then uh, when when we start to read uh, something on, on the input, the, we read something on the input when we see that this is uh, will produce some some output. Uh, so we don't read in advance. Uh, It's just like like in, in, in prefix complexity. One one why why we don't why we don't if, if we have a prefix free function, how how we can uh, compute it in the in this way by reading only bits. Okay, but th this is some technical point which is. Yeah, I understand it. So you, you need to construct a machine and you need to give instructions on when to read uh, bits yeah, yeah, yeah. the bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When to read the next bit. And you will only read the next bit if this if bit there is, is a completely. Chance, uh, if if the, this will provide in some way, it could provide the output of the next bit. So in this way, we, we know that this input is not enough because uh, uh, to provide the next bit. We, we don't want to read something prematurely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the output depends on the... Yeah, yeah. You, if you I, I notice say, so, that the next bit that needs to be produced yeah, yeah. must so, depend... 
yeah, if we use the Oracle, if we define Oracle using a, in a more relaxed way, saying that this is the number of bits of Oracle, which are enough for not the effect, actually red number of bits of Oracle, but the number of bits which guarantee the output of all the extensions, then we don't need this trick. But, but this is... So uh, we read, uh, we read uh, a prefix X of our Oracle, only if there is uh, some extension of that X, which is used in our lemma, which is, which is allocated needed. to some. Yeah, which is already allocated to some, some child. Before we, we see such a thing, uh, we don't read the prefix. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I have a question. Yeah. In the allocation process, we use uh, disjoint intervals for the same request. Yeah. And actually now mm, these intervals correspond to Oracle calls, as I understand. So, so for example, uh, uh, so the, the, the requests are, are, are now, uh, so, so, so the, the, there was a space for, for, for zero and the space for one somehow. Yeah, yeah. And they are disjoined. Yes. Uh, and what does it mean now in terms of Oracle? So if Oracle gets in this part, then we output zero. And if Oracle gets in this part of the interval, we uh, output uh, one. Uh, uh, I see, I and see. Of course, we should not output both zero and one. Thank you, thank you. And you explained it uh, the previous time, I, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. For, for, small, for, for this request, we have some part of this. And this, this they should be part of this because if we want to output zero, zero, first we should output zero and, and so on. So it's, it's kind of. Uh, and uh, so let, 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 let me, the remaining five minutes, let me tell what is the uh, Gatch uh, theorem. And the Gatch theorem says it's kind of ex ex extension of this one with additional uh, claimants. Um, let first let first a, a, a is a computable function of strings, and second let let u be an enumerable set of intervals intervals that are uh, uh, called forbidden intervals. So some intervals, some uh, aligned intervals are forbidden. So in our space, we have uh, uh, effect, it's actually effect, effect, effectively open set is union of all them. But we have a, just a sequence of forbidden intervals. And uh, uh, what is known now that the sum of the two to the minus k prime of x plus the sum of the size of forbidden intervals is smaller than um, smaller than one. Maybe strictly smaller, but or, no, I, uh, no, 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 probably. And then that is a condition. And beta now doesn't have, doesn't have forbidden prefixes. So we construct beta, which is outside this set. So we have additional restriction that our beta, which we want to construct, should not get into some bad set. And the claim is that if the bad set is small, then we can achieve this. But we need a stronger thing. So the sum should be plus the size of the set should be smaller than one. So this is an extension of hierarchical coding theorem. Yeah, right? and this is implies gotcha, uh, you can have make beta random. Why? Because Martin Love random, uh, we can just take a small open set which contains our uh, our all non-random sequences and use use it for SU. 
and then we get a, a, a set, a sequence outside the set. And so it will, alpha B will be computable by beta and beta will be random. And also the, the, the usage will be bounded by K prime. But if you don't want, if you don't, want to go into this this Gach Kuchera, this is just a, a, an extension of, of, of our hierarchical holding theorem. And the proof is actually the same, but uh, I am afraid Misha will kill me, but still, still let me say, say, say the proof. So now, uh, there is additional problem because uh, U is some kind of, 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 of contaminated space. So these intervals form a contaminated space uh, which should not be used for beta. Uh, so we need to change the, the lemma use. So now if we return to original uh, to this lemma picture. So there is in this allocation procedure which works as before, but also there is independent life which makes some intervals contaminated. And uh, then, then we use, <laughs> I, I hope at least at least Bruno will uh, will approve this this, this language uh, since he's from from uh, yeah I, I used it in, once when I discussed this with you yes yeah so contaminated intervals then there's a kind of insurance service separate if the allocator gave you an interval that is entirely contaminated. Sasha, we do not see your writing. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I think I, ah, yeah, yeah, here, yeah. So uh, we have these contaminated intervals and there is kind of insurance service. If the allocator gave you an interval that is con entirely contaminated, you are reimbursed, fully reimbursed from this service. And then you can uh, ignore this interval and get a new interval of the same size because you get a new money for that. You ignore this interval and request a new one. And somehow in this way, you try to avoid the contaminated space. But because there are two, two problems with this service. So if allocator you gave a partial contaminated, partially contaminated interval, there is no reimbursement. And also if the interval, interval later becomes contaminated, becomes even fully contaminated, but later, you also get no reimbursement. So you get reimbursement only if your interval is now contaminated. So in this way, uh, the reimbursed intervals are disjoint because uh, if, 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 if you get reimbursement, you don't use this interval anymore because you get a new one in, instead. So you cannot ask anything for the children or, or reimbursement doesn't care about 
this, this part of the intervals. It cannot, it cannot be involved in future reimbursements. So the total amount of money is still less than one because the reimbursement service in, injects new money, but the size of this reimbursement money is just the set size of the all, all, all contaminated space. Uh, uh, and then, then why it's enough? Because imagine, uh, let, let's come back to, to, to this, this picture. Imagine that we construct the sequence beta as, as, as we, as, as we uh, did before. But now maybe, is it possible that beta belongs to you? We should explain why it, why it doesn't belong to you. If it belongs to you, that some prefix uh, at some point becomes fully contaminated. And after that time, uh, no intervals, uh, no intervals in, in, inside beta can be allocated to anything. Because after that, this interval, all smaller intervals are not useful anymore. They are not used. And so starting from this point, uh, uh, we cannot get, uh, uh, remember that parts of beta were allocated to some intervals, intervals uh, prefixes of alpha. So long parts of beta will be not allocated to in any prefix of alpha. And this is a contradiction. So a, a big prefix of alpha, which didn't exist at the moment when, when this interval was completely contaminated, uh, cannot appear because uh, how this interval would be allocated to, to uh, we know that it, it's computed with some prefix of beta and then, then it should be somewhere, uh, somehow appear. And this is not possible. Well, <laughs> it's not clear. Yes, it's not, uh, not clear. clear yeah. yeah, the not, last, the last part uh, was... uh, Actually, I don't understand uh, how you so, uh, resolve uh, the problems with your um, allocation with uh, forbidden intervals. It seems oh. that it's enough, uh, but uh, to prove this theorem. There but is I a don't of contaminated understand. space, which increases from, from time to time. So yes, what, it's a problem. What your algorithm do? The, the, the solution is, if the allocator algorithm gives an interval which is completely com contaminated. Completely, I understand. What, 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 uh, what, uh, what happens? What happens when uh, a part of uh, our uh, allocated interval becomes contaminated? No, then I don't have any reimbursement. Then, then I still use this interval. And I can still use, uh, later I can use non-contaminated part of the mm -hmm. not be allocator. If allocator gives me a, a fully contaminated part, uh, then I get a reimbursement and I ask for a new thing. Uh, yes, but I don't understand how it works in this theorem. So why, why, it, why it's enough or why it's possible? Yeah, why, why, why it's enough, why, why, why it uh, gives this property. And this is, this is the, yeah, this is a delicate point. So imagine we, uh, there is a, our alpha is computed by beta uh, as constructed in our, in our construction. And then beta is in contaminated space. Then, uh, beta, because of compactness reason, if beta is in, con in contaminated space, then it, it no, it, no, no, not any compactness. At some point, at some point, uh, some prefix of beta should be in one of the intervals, no, no compactness. And these intervals at some point will be known as contaminated. And after that, 
nothing can be allocated inside this interval because this will be fully contaminated at the moment. So oh, we can- I, I see, I see. We can, and, uh, we can get some we, partial we contamination. Compute, we compute an infinite sequence. And actually, yeah, yeah. The infinite sequence should have an so, infinite sooner or prefix. later, we, we, we should go into contaminated space totally. We, we should use, uh, yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah so, but, but the short prefix of beta needs to have a large interval. Yeah, short prefix of beta needs a large interval. Yeah, but, but you only get, uh, re reallocate a small interval. So you say no, later, the, the, small the old, interval? No, no, no. The, 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 we reallocate the small interval, but the bigger interval remains allocated, even if it's contaminated later. Maybe this interval... But which later is, it gets completely contaminated okay. and it's useless. No, 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 no. It's it's completely contaminated. Uh, but the, the, we, we, don't, we, we don't claim that this interval is not the contaminated space. We claim that our sequence... No, 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 it cannot be completely contaminated because our sequence is infinite. So some long prefixes of the sequences were allocated also at some moment. Our sequence computes alpha. So in particular, it should compute long prefixes of alpha, which appear after we know that this interval is completely contaminated. And then uh, for them, we cannot allocate anything inside of inside this contaminated interval. So actually what will happen and the full, full reallocation thing will start, uh, it, it will go down and there's not enough space and that requests more space and so on. So if, if for example, what happens if, if some interval is contaminated and uh, allocator starts allocating interval in, in, in this space, and they all are, are, are contamin fully contaminated. So they are rejected and reimbursed. And then some point, all the intervals are, 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 are fully used. And then we request a new interval. And so the, the locator should give us other, other. So we, we cannot get in our sequence, beta cannot go through fully contaminated interval because the extensions of beta should should not go into contaminated intervals fully. And then the extensions of beta, which appeared after this interval was fully contaminated, cannot be inside. That's, okay. that's the reason. Yeah. Okay. That's the reason. Yeah. Okay, let me say the open problem still, if if anybody is still still uh, saying. So imagine in our lemma. Uh, there is another thing. Another thing is even without the contamination for, for, for original lemma. Also, there is a new, new operation. We can uh, increase the request. So some, uh, some request, some number can be smaller. And so the space requirement can be bigger. And then we should replace all, all the old intervals, but by some new bigger intervals. And then reallocate- Sasha, the... Sasha, before you explain something, I think you should say the statement first, what you want to prove, and then say what is the corresponding lemma. Imagine uh, uh, that now we have a stronger, stronger uh, uh, claim uh, that the, 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 the size of requests is smaller than some constant, which you can choose whatever you want. You have a, a, a very small sum of requests. But uh, in, 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 in exchange, you, you are in a more di difficult situation. The more difficult situation is that these requests are, are, are not fixed. They can decrease with time. So initially, Somebody gives ask you for interval uh, this, this vertex request for some L1. But at later, this L1 can decrease, become smaller. 
You mean the interval becomes larger? Yes. No, the interval length. becomes larger and the yeah. number becomes smaller. And then all the older intervals be become useless. So you need to mm, redo everything. You need to, to find the bigger intervals and you should replace what you are like space given to children, you should replace by, by, by new space in this bigger interval. Uh, are you allowed just um, enlarge, extend the existing interval? No, no. No, you are, no, no may, maybe you can, but but it's not really. Uh, I I don't think it's it, it would help, but but so for simplicity, let's say that you cannot allow this. So there is some kind of overhead. Actually, this is why it's important because in this uh, fi final theorem, the, the the nice thing would be replace this this k prime by a real a real prefix complexity and it's not computable it's upper semi computable so it can be approximated from above so actually we don't know the value but the value can decrease and the, the additional thing is that we need to deal somehow with this decrease and when we when it decreases then the old intervals are not large enough so we we, we don't uh, uh, we, we 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 need new ones and if we need new ones, then we, we, we also should all, 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 all the intervals inside them become useless. So we need to reallocate things for, 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 the, for the bigger ones. And what uh, Bruno was saying that there is some way, maybe there is some way to uh, 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 prove this new lemma. And even there was a special idea how to do it. If, if, if your, the idea was, but if you allocate some interval um, several times, uh, so if, if you see that you, you need more and more space, then you start asking for, for bigger intervals, just as a precaution uh, to make things uh, uh, bigger in advance. And theoretically, it could somehow help, but the, the computation with potentials or money did not work out, I think. Yeah, I was a bit idiotic when I said that I could solve it, and I called Sasha. But uh, yeah, no, no, the, 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 you should the say it, you you should be uh, actually George Brampales also thought he could solve it. So yeah. maybe you are both in the right doing the right things, but just not finish this. And uh, it's a kind of combinatorial thing, which which. Mm, somehow can be done. Yeah, yeah but uh, maybe it's false, that the, the dilemma. Maybe it's false. Then you need to prove yeah. that there is a counterexample, at least for this combinatorial thing and maybe for even for the, for the complexity thing. OK, so I am sorry for uh, uh, introducing too, too, too much uh, commerce, commerce in, in this proof, but uh, uh, still, 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 First, first, it's it's not me, but this this improvement was suggested by Bruno. And second, I think it's really uh, if you once are accustomed to this kind type of argument, it's really convincing <coughs> and easy to think in these terms. But yeah, but I I, I still uh, don't I I think that Misha is also a bit right that that the lemma is simple enough not to use the money. So it's not so clear. But then when I try to prove something no, stronger... No, last time you, you, I just tried to explain what is the potential. The potential is the size yeah. of allocated things minus this. Yeah. Then the flow of money makes this more clear because this has new money injected in the system. Well, that, that's the, that was the debate we had today. Yeah, and, and also this insurance money also yeah. is counted in the same way. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is the same. It's, like, it's clear well, why we should it's... add insurance money to the to the requests money. It's in on the same scale with with the other things. Yeah. Okay. So next time, what do we have? Virishagin, which is now absent, or uh, something else? Right, right. Virishagin. Virishagin. Right. And then we will have this. Uh, 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 
Саша Казачинский in, 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 in guests who, who will explain what they are doing in, in, in the southern hemisphere. December 12th. Yeah. And maybe at some point uh, to the, to the, to the uh, Weinach, but maybe Loran will explain, continue the explanation about this, this uh, convergence rate for, for lower semi-computable random numbers. I, I don't uh, know where, whether yes, you I feel. Will. I will. Probably yeah. like January or February, would that be okay? No, no. It, 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 will, it will be natural to do it at 19th of December, but if it's too late for you, then we can open you the book. Okay, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. But now we have the next time. No, no, you, you can also do it next time instead of Virishagin, but I don't think <laughs> probably. It's, uh... No, I want to hear Kolia. So. Yeah, okay. So yeah. we will, you know. Uh... Like, like in 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 the Bible, they say that you you don't you, you don't have me all the time, but you have all these stupid people all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you kind of... <laughs> okay, but um, so next time will be Kolya, and then will be guest from Southern Hemisphere, which we will ask more precisely what it's about and what will happen. But this is reserved for for Sasha Kozachinsky, guest. Okay, sorry, sorry for this, 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 in, 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 uh, not, unpleasant type of argument, but, uh, okay. So thanks, stop sharing, I should stop share, and thanks a lot. See you next time, thanks, Sasha. Thanks, yeah, Sasha. Yeah, yeah, And Misha probably will get a, a, a link to, 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 uh, uh, the recording and so we will, we will post this unpleasant debate online okay <laughs> no no but I, I think it's interesting uh, because i never seen a uh, amortized argument that could not be avoided but maybe it exists no every place. argument can be avoided by yeah, just... yeah I, I mean yeah but, yeah but it's really needed so i don't know any proof but maybe somebody knows like an example it, but for simple people sorry the sound was away no if you are very clever maybe you can replace the amortized argument by by, by some explicit form yeah, yeah but is there a place where it is impossible to re, uh, remove it by in a some elegant way does there exist such a theorem no i don't know what you call by elegant okay okay <laughs> but you should ask the algorithm people for example ask gleb yevstropov I guess he knows a tons of amortized algorithm and he, he can choose the most unpleasant one and yeah. try to explain it to you. And okay. then you will be convinced. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Bye.